we are we black people are like parrots and you can take offense to that oh they did it i want to do it too oh they did it i want to do it too i don't care what they did i don't want to do what you did drew you, i want to build something amazing but you can't build it without no unity yes i can i can do it with you people could, i can do it people like you okay but but we're still doing it we're two black men and when, two, and when two black men start cooking everybody's finna that, eat and that's that's the point the greatest american alive Kanye West makes a statement about George Floyd, and even though black people feel a certain way about it, he doesn't lose any endorsements. He's never lost endorsements talking against black people. But as soon as he makes some disparaging comments towards the Jewish community, he is unanimously canceled. I understand it. I don't see how black people don't understand. I don't see how we don't see the issue with that. And we're like enjoying his cancellation. We're enjoying the fact that he's getting canceled. We do not understand politics and we do not understand economics. Like we, we want to divest from a political system that gives us power. We want to divest from an economic system that gives us power. I think that we think that our feelings are more important than economic power. Oh, what he said hurt my feelings. That hurt my feelings. Don't say that again. I mean, it's definitely a thing of feelings. I think that we can't get over the way we feel about things with the white lives matter, sweatshirt, shirt, whatever. It didn't bother me. It didn't bother me because I felt like knowing Kanye, he's making a point. There's something that he wants us to see. White lives matter to those that support black lives matter, I guess. You know, you didn't see the satire in it. You were just very upset. But why are you not upset at the fact that the Black Lives Matter organization has taken in about $80 million, maybe more? As soon as I saw Black Lives Matter on the NBA court, I knew it was over. I said the fix is in. If a corporation is supporting the revolution, it's not a revolution. At all. Um, I guess her name is Patrice Colors. I, I, I guess that she's one of the found, founders. She gave we should, her... We shall call her the lesbian. She gave... <laughs> Man, we'll, we'll actually get into that. We'll get it. We'll, we'll, we'll get into that because it's important to know. Why this. in the world is a lesbian woman speaking for you, black man? Not only that, she gave her baby daddy like a million dollars. Let me let me be very clear. When I get on, I'm going to put my people on. You gonna see my brother and my brother and my cousin and my nigga. You gonna see my folks. This is a fact, okay? But that's gonna be for my business and my business alone. If I'm running an organization that's supposed to be for the whole community, I can't put just my people on. I don't think I don't think black people understand that, though. I, I, I don't think I don't think we ever get it when we get into these positions where we have to handle large sums of money. Like, OK, so this Candace Owens documentary that Kanye West references, I think people should go watch this documentary. Now, I am not a fan of anyone. I can see past messengers and see the message. So I can also see the shucking and jiving in Candace Owens. Why did this organization get so much money in because of George Floyd? When they brought George Floyd's body to Houston, there were 60,000 people. There were, Bun B was leading it. There were 60,000 Houstonians that were ready to march. And President Donald Trump at the time, he said specifically, if y'all act up, I'm, I'm sending the National Guard. And I'm so thankful that when that happened, because it came right down the street, that the black people behave themselves. My question to a million black people who marched on these streets for George Floyd, why do you identify more with George Floyd than you do with Kanye West? Why do you want so badly to be with the lowest part of our, our black class, but you don't identify with the people who are competing at the highest level? We won't be able to work past our feelings to even answer that question. Seeing Chauvin's knee in his neck, I do not agree with any disparaging comments about George Floyd at that moment. I think that was terrible. It doesn't matter what was in his system. That had to have aided in his death. But we cannot get past his past because it existed. Like, for the majority of these cases, it's always like there's some shady characters involved. It's like you never can just say, oh, be definitive on why is this happening. I'm so hyped. And I haven't, right. I, but, but I'm saying like, I personally don't know what happened that day. The thing that sticks out in my mind the most about George Floyd is the knee in his neck. Cause I want to say that. I, I think that's kind of what Kanye was saying and he didn't get to say it correctly is I think that we have certain characters that are used in front of us to represent a lot of different things. That's a very important point that you make right there. Why in the world are black people so in love with trauma? If you look at police killings in America, there might be 1200 a year. That's not just black people. That's all Americans. It might be 1,200 dead Americans a year. But all we want to do is focus on black trauma. But we don't like, I, right now, I live off of MLK. There's so much black poverty. 
but you don't give a damn about these poor black children. You don't give a damn about these poor black families. You want to identify with some person who got murdered. Man, shouldn't nobody die by the hands of the state ever hard stop. But I don't care more about a dead person than I do about a living person. That's that doesn't make any sense to me. There are there are 40, 50 million black people in America and we want to focus on a dead nigga. Charleston White is pointing out the issues in our culture, but we don't want to see that. We don't want to actually look at, OK, the conditions we're in, changing the conditions and even the music that promotes and perpetuate our conditions. We, we, we love really, it. We, we love it. It's like we, we have an issue confronting that. Or like all the black, young black kids that shoot each other in Chicago. We don't want to approach that situation. We wait until we get to police brutality. Because niggas don't want to do the work. It's so easy to point the finger at someone else and say, you did this. You killed one of my people. But when it comes to building and uplifting and having a sustainable community, that takes actual work. It takes real economics and real politics and motherfuckers don't want to do the work. And that's my problem with you niggas. Here's where I differ with everybody. That's right. I don't think when we talk about slavery, we're talking about victimization at all. You don't think slavery is victimhood? No, because we can put some numbers to it. I was watching a documentary where a, a black brother, a sharp black brother who went to like Princeton or some shit like that. Man, fuck that nigga's education. But, but, but I'm just saying like, you know, there is a such thing as having some some knowledge and data. And so like, we know that slavery and slavery at its height, 1.3 billion pounds of cotton was picked. We do know that. So okay, okay. we know how thin cotton is. Like, cotton is king, cotton I, I, is king. I think the issue is we haven't quantified it. What we've done is we put our feelings in it. And so like, when you look at the Holocaust, it was broadcast. I mean, this is the first time you got to think, Slavery started before <laughs> you could broadcast something and use media. Okay, once you get to the Holocaust, we can see it. It's on tape. We see the bodies piled up. You know how many Hitler, bodies we missed? Hitler was one of the first people. Like I think he broadcast the Olympics at that time. He had real motion pictures showing you Jesse Owens kick they ass in real time. But 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 not even that. I'm just saying, like, oh, the American government too. I'm they saying technology is powerful. It, it's it's powerful. Like it's powerful. So there was no movie cameras when niggas were slaves. We didn't get to see that. We got to rely on some numbers. And it's like even trying to talk hold on, about. Hold on, hold on. That's why we love George Floyd because you had a smartphone. You got to see the nigga die. But when niggas die and are impoverished, you don't see them. You don't see little black children hungry right now. You don't see black mothers over here struggling right now. And so since you don't see it, you don't care about it. But we don't want to promote that. What we want to promote, we, we want to promote an imagination. We want to promote BBL. We want to promote, you know what I'm saying, brunch. We want to promote the things that we're doing that it seems like we're doing all the time that make us have this other existence that don't, don't exist. We don't want to show out the mud, so to speak. You know, niggas always talking about they out the mud. Nobody want to show that. Influence is one of the most powerful things in America, and black people have so much influence. If you look at Kim Kardashian, she took her whole style from the black identity. And instead of you looking at yourself in the mirror and saying, I love myself, you'll look at her and say, I love her. I like to study the issue when it comes to black folk, because I think we too that have an issue with us, we are still black, so we get just as emotional at the niggas that's getting emotional. But we really got to see how we got here. You know what I'm saying? So, like, again, going back to slavery, it's like, once you program a group of people, once you program an entire group of people through the mind, like, we we really look at, we've heard this before, we look at slavery as more of the physical aspect. There's a There was a physical aspect to slavery. I respect you so much. You're such a bright, intelligent person, right? How come you sought out the information to improve your quality of life and so many people who have the exact same opportunity choose not to. Man, God, you can only get the inspiration from God. You can't believe in God if you're twerking. But 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 see, look, at, ah. the, at, at the end of the day, everybody can't be saved because everybody don't be truthful to themselves. Like at the end of the day, it's about the truth. See, I could tell the truth to myself. I could look at the condition. I grew up in this neighborhood. I grew up in South Park. So it's like I could look at the Dead condition. Dead in Houston, Texas. I, hey, man, listen. This whole MLK, I learned how to drive on it. I had to, I had to meet other groups of people and and under, and expand my mind. Then I had to start looking at once you look and research for something. Once you once you want to know why, you'll get there. So like, I wanted to be better myself. I still experienced racism with white people in the Navy, even though I was somebody who wanted to elevate my mind, wanted to go to a different place. I still had to see like, okay, there's still an aspect of this where I want to break that down. Go ahead. What kind of racism? Okay, I had a chief would make snarky comments about black people, but he wasn't like it wasn't overt. But I, I tell you one thing he did do. Uh, Obama had one. 
right? Chief Fob, wherever he is, fuck we, you. We, we finna rock. Come fuck, on. Fuck, fuck Chief Fob. Okay. okay. So what happened was Obama had just won. He just became president. Fuck uh, Obama. This, this, this cat I knew named C.S. Tuguli. <laughs> I was a C.S. His name C.S. Tuguli. He had put Obama up on his wall like a calendar and all that. Like the first family. Our chief was like, take that down. He's not the president yet. Because he had just won. You know, you got to yeah, actually yeah. get over and tell it's like January. You know, you actually get inaugurated, right? Right. And, and he just, like, he did not, he hated that shit. He, he didn't, he was always fucking with niggas. Like, we, we have to be real. We know when, we know when motherfuckers are being racist. However, comma. I don't. Man, I know when somebody's being racist. <laughs> like, 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 I'm going to be honest. See, here, here's, here's, here's the, here's the level, here's the level issue. Like, here, here's it, a. Is there a level of assumption when it comes to no, racism? No. No. Is there a level of feeling no. that comes with Hey, I'm one of them, I'm one of them motherfuckers who tried to do that, who tried to believe, you know what I'm saying, give people a chance. Woo, woo, woo. Right, right. There's a certain, again, there's a brand issue when it comes to whiteness and blackness and white people see us a certain way and white people do benefit off a brand of whiteness and and it and the reason why we've been told to get away from that so much is because when you get to the real reason of why it is the way it is we're gonna start talking about some money and that's why motherfuckers want to get away from we not racist slavery hey we, we didn't gay out this gay out that because if we get to why this shit because what you find embedded in our constitution what you find embedded in our way of life is racism as i even though I feel that way, I can still understand a Kanye West. I have to give you some pushback because the history of the world tells me that when people are in power, they control other people. This is the history of the world. And when we get to America, all of a sudden, when you have an, a lower class of people and you have that class of people being dominated, you say that it's because this one specific thing. It's because they have more power than but, you. But look, but you got to understand. See, I like this. Okay, good. See, now we're we, we having a conversation. That's, That's good. Right. I love it. Hey, man, America's 244 years old. A baby. It's the equivalent of selling dope. A baby. Cotton is like dope. Listen, fast money is how you get to anywhere. If you pay attention to most of the successful people. Okay, like, let's look at like Elon Musk. <laughs> let's go. Elon, Elon Musk, through technology, because of his large consumption, yes, and 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 um, it's supply and demand. Everybody, we're demanding technology. Technology is making the world change. Bro made like two hundred billion dollars, <laughs> over a hundred billion dollars in a couple years through Tesla. Like, you got to understand, like, it's way that quick money is how you shoot up. So when you look at when you look at America, right? The, the biggest demand, stuff that every, the thing that everybody needed was cotton. Cotton. We were plentiful in cotton. Cotton was king. And guess what? We had niggas to pick it. And yes. we made niggas pick it. We made niggas pick that cotton. True. And that white infrastructure financially is based on that. It was able to do so. Like, this is what I'm saying. I'm listening. We need not abandon that before we move on and say, get over it. Because to me, that's the Holocaust. They do, though. If we look in America, the thing that Kanye West was saying, there are groups of people who control industries. If you look at fingernails in America, could Koreans control that industry? They dominate that industry. We dominate music and, and influence and entertainment. But we don't own any of the things None because, of those entities. Because we didn't have the money. Okay, so look, let me explain this because I think black people can identify. So you have somebody who comes up in dope that the smart thing to do if they want to keep their wealth is to go get real estate. You got to think. America is comprised of essentially dope money and real estate. We went, we had manifest destiny. We went from the East Coast to the West Coast. So they took all the real estate, federally took all the real estate, and they had the money to do it. They got the money off cotton. So they were able to put in white infrastructure, take the real estate and get the money. We can't like, listen, if I could come to this motherfucker as an alien and see that, like, I don't have to be anything to look at it and say, oh, that's exactly how they did this. OK, it's just like with Hitler. I, I, we just got to talk this history like. He gets into that situation because of that Treaty of Versailles saying that you can't be armed and all this other shit. Okay, he said, fuck okay. that shit. I'm not going to let the world powers lock me out. That's how that starts. Now, his ideology and all that other shit, that's a whole nother. We can get into that. But why he gets into what he gets into is because of the money. I want to talk about Hitler. But when I say Hitler, you get you get in your feelings. Oh, my goodness. Don't talk about Hitler because of all the feelings. things he did. So I'm not going to talk about Hitler. I'm just going to generalize it and talk about powerful people. 
powerful people have imagination and the determination to make their thoughts come to fruition. This is what they do. Frederick Douglass, in the height of slavery, was a free person articulating his ideas because he decided to be exceptional. He went from slavery to the top of America. OK, and so if you have some creativity, some courage, some some I'm going to go get it. Then all of a sudden doors well, Frederick Douglass up. did have exposure because you got to think his dad was white. Right. Like, I think he was like a he was like a half. Re- th- 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 on, but, but that's the story of America. But, no, hold on. wait. It's not just black people. It's also white people. When you come to this area called America, ain't nobody pure white but, ain't nobody pure black. We are a bunch of matters. Mutts. That matters. With we him. are a bunch of mutts. That's true. But that matters with him. And that matters with certain like. If you if you want to go even towards like let's say I have a son with blonde hair and blue eyes. Let's say a Harriet Tubman, <laughs> you right? Hear me? I hear you. <laughs> but let's say like a Harriet Tubman, right? They're like, calling a nigga an octoroon or some shit. Even even <laughs> just her being a woman, like the white man has a fetish for black women because that's the person he would go out have sex and have his way with. Now I'm nigga, guarantee- I got a fetish for white women. I'm guaranteeing, and I think they have delicacy I, and I, delicious. I think that's by design for niggas. Cause, <laughs> look, for instance, Bo- boy Drew is definitely in the building. I thank you so much for joining Project man, Conversations. This is exciting. Yeah, I, I, I appreciate it, man. Boy Drew, the charm guy here, man. We just diving in because most niggas can't swim. This is why it's so crazy. It's exciting. It's an exciting time to be alive, but it's very wild to understand this. The world has been around for. Billions of years. Billions. You got to understand, like, we can actually see things and put things together because of technology and programming. So we've been, like, again, okay. Technology creates opportunities. Let's look at let's look at the white. Let's go back to the white man. Let's fuck that nigga, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm just talking. I'm, 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 just, I'm, just, I'm just talking like. I'm riding with you. I'm just saying, fuck that I'm, nigga. I'm just talking like the fact. The white person is our focal point, and since we keep but focusing he's on this person. But he's maintained an elite status. Or even the illusion of an elite Hold status. Hold on. Let's put whiteness in the context. All white people aren't elite. Hey, but I'm going to say it like this, though. In comparison, the the, the wealth gap is real. Like, l- it's like, look, very real. So, so that's what I'm saying. Like, we look at the, our inner city neighborhoods and what they look like in the makeup of it. But if you go to, like, the West Universities, if you go to the Bel Airs, if you go to these upper echelon neighborhoods, what they primarily look like and represent, there's a reason There's, there, there's a reason. Because they have a standard. They said, if you're going to come over here... There are deed restrictions. But they got the money, though. If you're going to be in my presence, you're going to behave a certain way. I don't have any money whatsoever. And I'm going to be clean. I'm going to take a shower. And I'm going to articulate myself so you can understand my position. Communication rules this nation. And you're not communicating. You're saying, I don't have to communicate. I can just do whatever and say whatever. And you better love me because. Me saying this isn't excusing black people, like, getting us off the hook. Like, there's an awakening we must go through. First. Before we do that, we must understand what the true enemy is. And until we come unanimous on what that enemy is, you'll never be able to cancel someone the way the Jews just did. They, dog, I don't hold on wait. I don't want I don't want to cancel nobody. But 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 it ain't even about that. It's about the power to say you won't treat or say these things about me. We are we black people are like parrots, and you can take offense to that. Oh, they did it, I wanna do it too. Oh, they did it, I wanna do it too. I don't care what they did. I don't want to do what you did. Drew, you, I want to build something amazing. But you can't build it without no unity. Yes, I can. I can do it with you people. Can, I can do it with people like you. Okay, but but we're still doing it. We're two black men. And when, record, two, and when two black men start cooking, that, everybody's finna that, eat. That, and that's that's the point. Like, listen, are we going to get everybody? I don't think we're going to get everybody. If you don't want to come, nigga, stay at home and be hungry. But I, I still think, like, we're going to build... And that's it. And I want you to stay tuned in. I want you to like and subscribe. I want you to go to Boy Drew's channel, Boy Drew the Charm God. Nice. Run his numbers up because we're about to change the world because these are real black revolutionaries in 2022 and forever. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive.